Hey guys, my name is Gabby. And I'm Joseph. And we finally did it. We finally decided to start our YouTube channel. If you come across our channel, we hope you enjoy our lifestyle and food vlogs. Here's our first video of us eating in Oahu, Hawaii during our travels. Just a block away from our hotel was a poke restaurant called Maguro Spot. I ordered the Salmon Kura Poke Bowl and Gabby ordered a spicy Hawaiian style Maguro Poke Bowl. To drink, I had a coconut water and Gabby had ordered a lychee flavored Hawaiian sun. If we had to give my girl a spot a rating, it would have to be a 7 out of 10, since it was a little pricey for the portions. It was some good poke, but not our favorite from our trip. If you stay tuned, you'll see some of our favorite places to eat on Oahu, and where we recommend to get your poke. This next spot is Leonard's Bakery, which is a Portuguese donut shop. You can custom order malasadas and add any flavor filling if you want. That's your guava. Yeah, that's guava. Let's try this one. I don't know what it is. I think it's chocolate. We'll find out. I think chocolates are on the bottom, but that might be coconut. Show the inside. I think it's custard. Going chocolate. These look chocolate. These look like chocolate. Mm. Ready? You got it? Mm -hmm. mm. Chocolatey goodness. Is it called the booch or something? <laughs> the bash. The bash. Cheers. The malasadas weren't too sweet and had a nice fluffy texture. We give Leonard's an 8 out of 10. Here we are in line for Maragame Udon. Do not be alarmed when you see their line out the door, it is for good reason. Originally from Japan, Maragame holds their tradition high, serving authentic handmade noodles with Japanese style tempura and broth. With over a thousand locations in 13 countries, their popularity is no surprise. Maragame won our hearts and left us wanting more as we visited this location twice on our trip. Try the noodle first. Sweet. Nice. Sorry, I need to stir mine up real quick too. It's hot. It's not that hot. It's hot. It's good, huh? Holy shit. That's so good. It's good. Delicioso. <laughs> Break that egg. It's gonna be golden. Spread it. She's orange and beautiful. Beautiful egg. Oh yeah. That looks 
passa quelqu'un qui Let me try. Avocado, pepper jack cheese, oh, onion rings, smash patty, garlic mayo, chub fries, basically an animal fry, special sauce, cheese, and grilled onions. Let's try a fry first. <laughs> it's mm. good. Tell good. <laughs> Strawberry lemonade. Gabriella's strawberry lemonade, let's see. That's fire. You're gonna like that a lot. That's tart, right? Nice and tart. It's delicious. <laughs> oh yeah, this is like a little animal fry. Yeah, I'll mix it up some more, but just take a bite real quick. Oh my god, mm. it's so quick. Good? Oh yeah. Alright, that's all Ray. Garlic mayo, smash patty. What kind of cheese? Pepper, Pepper jack, jack cheese. Uh, onion rings and avocado. And garlic mayo again. It's good? Oh yeah. French is hella good. From that onion ring. Wanna try it? Yeah. I try it now. Gabriella is gonna try it. <laughs> so good, huh? It's like fresh. Like I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't taste like super greasy, it doesn't taste like oily. It's just nice and juicy. Oh yeah. It's so good. Nice. Told her to get her own, but she didn't want one. Joseph wanted to go to Chubby's Burgers, but me being not a big fan of burgers was a bit skeptical at first. I'll have to say that Chubby's Burgers ended up being one of our favorite spots this trip. The fries reminded me of animal style fries from In-N-Out, and if you're from California then you know what I'm talking about. And the strawberry lemonade was so delicious, it was like a pink lemonade times 10. Highly recommend. We rate Chubby's an easy 8.5 out of 10. <laughs> if you're driving up to the North Shore, then you have to go to Giovanni Shrimp Truck. 
They are a family-owned business and was voted Hawaii's best from 2011 to 2020. We ordered the shrimp scampi and lemon butter shrimp and a side of mac salad. shrimp was as fresh as can be and flavorful with the caramelized chunks of garlic. The mac salad didn't have too much mayo and was one of the best mac salads we've ever had. We give Giovanni's an 8 out of 10. Here we are at Fat Cheeks, one of our top rated spots in Oahu. Stay tuned for our number one spot later on in the video. Fat Cheeks had everything that we wanted, a perfectly toasted roll, great portion of warm butter lobster, crispy fries, and excellent service. We give Fat Cheeks a solid 9.5 out of 10. We highly recommend that you hit up this spot the next time you're in Oahu, Hawaii. It's such a good quality. I already took a bite because I was hungry. Nice. Just really good, huh? Yeah. That's fine. Warm with butter. Always better than chilled with mayo. Our next stop was at Rainbow Drive-In. They are known as a local classic for Hawaiian-style lunch plates. They serve really hearty portions, so we decided to share an order of Loco Moco, which has rice, two hamburger steaks, gravy, over easy eggs, and a side of mac salad. We give Rainbow Drive-In a 7.5 out of 10. It's a yes? Yeah, <laughs> It literally looks like your bandana. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Blue pineapple. Blue pineapple. Mm -hmm. Ube. Lychee. Lychee. Pink. Which one's the best? I think blue pineapple. But lychee is my second and ube is the third. Oh, okay. But it matches my headband, so that's all that matters. Can I try it? Okay. Okay. Alright, Mmm. Flavor. Which was it? This one? Lychee. Lychee? Lychee's good. Sweet. Blue pineapple's fire. Blue pineapple's your favorite? Yeah. It's freaking delicious. My favorite goes the complete opposite. <laughs> Ube, lychee, then the blue pineapple. Where are we going? Um, Where? I don't know. Tim. Tim. Tim Hoan. And Tim Hoan has a Michelin star in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. They have other restaurants yeah. in the US. They do, they do, they do. Here we are at Tim Hoan. Joseph and I had pretty high expectations for this place because we love dumplings. Here I am eating a chicken pot sticker, which was pretty good. I don't know why it took me so long to finish, but I think it was hot on the inside. <laughs> the Tim Ho Wan in Hong Kong actually has a Michelin star rating. The Honolulu location that Joseph and I visited does not. We ordered shrimp and chive dumplings, steamed rice roll with shrimp, steamed rice roll with minced beef, and for dessert we had a sesame custard ball. Unfortunately when we arrived they were already sold out of shrimp dumplings for the day, which I think ultimately affected the overall rating we gave this place.
We want to give Tim Ho Wan another try, but for this visit, we give it a five and a half out of 10. Sesame oil. Sesame oil custard. Mmm. That's the best thing at this restaurant. Let's get a good bite. It's hot. Show the inside. Sweet. Manakai. Okay. <clears throat> Sun's coming up. Look at that. Could have easily finished this myself. We're just splitting this so we could eat more later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Here's our top-rated food that we ate in Oahu. Poke from Foodland. Foodland is a supermarket chain in Hawaii. They serve the freshest fish daily and have a wide variety of different poke. Foodland was voted Hawaii's best poke for nine years in a row. We went here every day of our trip because no other poke place could beat it. It is only $13 for a poke bowl with two thirds of a pound of protein and you get to choose two different poke styles. For this poke bowl we ordered salmon shoyu and ahi limu. Salmon shoyu has a sweet soy and onion mix while ahi limu is a yellowtail tuna with seaweed, soy, and sesame. Once you eat Foodland's poke, you'll never eat poke the same. We give Foodland Poke a bona fide 10 out of 10. Last poke for our trip because we leave in the morning. Sadness. Best poke. Yes. In all of the land. <laughs> we got limu and spicy wasabi salmon. Okay. It's a lot. I know. It's super nice. Thirteen bucks for two thirds of a pound with rice. Not pretty good. I'd say so. That's good. Back home in California, fifteen dollars—that's like what? Nothing. Nothing. 
three little tiny scoops. Three scoops of protein with like a mini ice cream scooper. Yeah, it's true. Even some other places in Hawaii won't get, give you this one. Yeah. Oh, I guess it's just this turn. Salmon wasabi. Salmon spicy wasabi? I forgot what they called it. Spicy salmon. Wasabi salmon. And of course, mm. the best, limu. This is a picture of Nelly if you guys haven't met her yet. And here's a line from Murakame. Our last meal. Not our last meal. For the day. Our last meal of the day. Maybe. Time is 2020. 8.20. Haven't, mo haven't moved that far. Almost there though. 8.40. Almost at the entrance. <laughs> Almost there. Like I mentioned earlier, Maragame was one of the best meals we had in Oahu. We couldn't leave without one more bowl of that delectable udon. Gome gets a nine and a half out of ten. This place is a must try. Come for a sauce.
always get the orange. Orange eggs, baby. We ain't about the, them fake eggs. We like happy chicken eggs. Happy chicken eggs. Now open your mouth. <laughs> Almost done. Good night, guys. watching our first video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and subscribe for future content. Peace guys.